Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial of Ucostruct and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the, the um, layers manager. So the layers manager is a very cool feature that was added because of some uh, requests by the testers. As you know right now, uh, this, the terrain needs to be a socket. Uh, each socket it needs to have a certain layer and the thing about this, the layers is that some third parties needs also terrain for example to have a certain layer. Um, and if you if I have a, a certain layer and they have a certain layer, it's going to collide, and therefore you can't use them simultaneously. So what I've done is I've uh, I've made a layers manager that allows you to um, customize and add new layers into your into the system without editing the actual code. Um, as you can see, you can add new layers that will be supported. So let's go for buildings. I can ha I can add in here a building. Uh, I don't know, like building test or something. And as I add this, I can also add it as its default one. Uh, what I mean by default is that is each base building is going to ha need to have one of those two layers. If it doesn't have one of those two layers, it's going to automatically assign this building layer, which is the default one. Uh, I can also remove one by holding control. And now the sockets is the same thing, it's literally the same. I'm just going to go ahead and do, let's say terrain is to be a layer, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put in here terrain. Uh, save changes and it's gonna work. It's gonna look for one of them and it's gonna work as it needs to. Um, one of the next things you wanna know is that it doesn't need any compiling like the code generator because this one isn't an actual uh, enum, enum. It's just a normal uh, list. So it's very very useful um, for those kind of things. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's not too complex. It's very very useful and it ha it allows you to have uh, many third party system to. Um, uh, works simultaneously because it's one of the biggest limitations today with uh, assets that some of them have uh, custom layers and editing them is really a pain. Uh, so I've created an editor that allows you to add and remove layers as you need. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I hope you uh, understood the video. And if you have any more questions, uh, make sure to email me. To email me and uh, yeah, see ya.